So I just bought this Black & Decker Power Series Extreme. It is purple, and I'm gonna give you a demonstration of how it works and the various attachments on it. And this is my favorite vacuum in the around $100 price category. You can go check out the current price yourself, but I think this is a really good value. We test a lot of different vacuums here, and this is my favorite one at the low end of the price spectrum. So this, of course, is a cordless vacuum, and what I like about it is it has a removable battery, which goes into the Black & Decker ecosystem. So you can charge this up separately. You could use this on a power drill, any of the other Black & Decker tools that you have. So that's kind of cool. And this will go up to, I think, about 55-ish minutes on a full charge. So that's actually pretty good. Again, at this price class, this is, I think, the best cordless vacuum at this price class. I'll show you how it um, pops off this thing too. But let's actually just, let's take it out for a little test run and do a little vacuuming on it here. So here we go. It's got two speeds. We're going to start with the lower speed. It does have a rotating head, which is powered, which is kind of nice. And it does have LED lights on it, which is really quite nice for getting under your bed and those tight spots. It swivels pretty well, so I can do like a little mumbo around the corner. Woo! Look at that. Woo, baby. Look at that. We're going around the corners. Am I cringe? Am I cringe enough yet? So, but actually, it's pretty good. And if I want to pick up the power, I've got some big dirt, and I'll show you some crazy pet hair in a minute. Whoa! Look at that power. But legit, it's actually, it's actually quite good. It's not too loud. We tested this at around 75, 78 dB, I think, at this setting. And let me show you the different attachments here and how that works. So the canister pops off like so, and then you can use the canister with any of these two tools here. So I've got this pet hair tool, which I'm gonna show you in just a second. It's silicone. It's actually quite good at getting pet hair off furniture. And then you've got this crevice style tool, which has a trick. Whoa, check out that. It's also got like a duster thing over here too. So I can dust stuff like this. So in fact, let me show you how this works. So I just pop it in like so. This is pretty lightweight. This unit, this part of the vacuum is probably about maybe like four pounds, something like that. It's actually quite light. Together, I think they're about eight pounds, something like that. If I want to do some vacuuming on my coffee table, let's say I spilled some, I don't know, having a little party over here, spilled some crackers. You can do it pretty good. It's nice and soft, so it's not going to scratch anything like wood, which is important. But if you want to do something like we need to get into the couch with this, so I pop this down, going to put it in the higher mode. Oh, that was the higher mode. I can get right in here and just like use it as a crevice tool. Now I will say one thing about it. This crevice tool isn't like quite as tight or as small as some of the other vacuums. So that's a little bit of a negative, but not that big a deal. You just have to have slightly bigger crevices, I guess you could say. This also, as you can imagine, is gonna work pretty well in your car. It's a fairly compact size. Might not be the, the one I'd necessarily recommend for a car, but you definitely can if you can just only afford one vacuum. And let me show you the pet hair tool. So here's some pet hair on here. Let's see how this silicone thing goes. You can see it's kind of like, it's kind of grabby, which I like. It's the lower speed. See, it does a really nice job of getting all this pet hair off of this microfiber surface. And this is actually a pretty grippy surface. So it's durable, it's a nice durable couch, but the cat hair really sticks to it. So you can see, even at low speed, it does a particularly good job of grabbing pet hair. And I think that's kind of nice. I'd probably use the crevice tool to get into the slots like this. So I think this is a nice tool. You can see how it actually grabbed the pet hair really effectively. So this is something that I think is, again, really, really good at this price point. So if I want to get up to ceilings, I can just pop this back on. I've got a pretty long wand over here. So now I've got this thing on a much longer dealio. I think that's the technical term, dealio. That's what Dyson calls it. That's what I call it, even though this is a Black & Decker, it's not a Dyson. That made no sense, but here we're gonna get up to the ceiling and just do a little, little wanding right over there. So if I've got some cobwebs or anything here, just vacuum those out. Nice long reach. It's not the longest of any vacuum, but compared to me, it's pretty short. So I feel good about myself because this is not as tall as I am. And I'm six foot nine, as you can tell. So this makes me feel really good about myself. When you want to see what your battery state of charge is, there's an LED indicator right here. It's pretty charged up right now. I've got three bars. 
when it's less charged is gonna go down and I think it flashes red or something like that when it's basically done. But when I wanna charge it, it's nice you just pop off the battery. There's actually two options, but first you pop off the battery, you just place it on the charger like here and it's it plugged into the wall with 120 volt AC. I think it takes an hour or two to charge up. I don't quite remember, let's call it two hours. Or what you can also do, put the battery back on, you can use this as a wall mount if you want. So you place this on the wall, sort of this comes apart. There's a couple screws in here with the kit and you just mount it like there on your wall. And now you can see whenever this light comes on that it's charging, of course, it's not doing it right now because we're shooting video, but uh, that's, that's how it works. Believe me, kids, it actually does work. I don't know why it's doing it, not doing it right now, but that's how it works. So when you want to empty it out, this thing just sort of pops off like so. And then I'll show you the filtration system in a second. And then this little button here and stuff, whoo, it comes out. So you can see it's got a metal filter in there for bigger particulates. And then you got a smaller filter in here, which pops out. And this is gonna catch like your smaller little bits of dirt in here. We were vacuuming up some coffee before because we had a really big coffee party. It was wild. Everybody got super hyped up. They started dancing and dumping coffee grounds all over the place. It was super hot, super exciting. Sorry, no invite for you. You're not on the inside. And this thing goes back on. There's actually a secondary filter over here too, which I will show you. And it just is this little guy over here. Let's see if I can get it out, which I just did. It says pull. There we go. And so you got this little secondary filter here too. So there's one thing I will mention. There's sort of one downside of this vacuum is that this does not have a HEPA filter. So this is not gonna filter stuff down to 0.3 microns like a HEPA filter does. It will go pretty small, but the bigger thing is some of the particles are gonna go back out into the air here because it doesn't have a full on HEPA filter. At this price point, I think this is not that big a deal, but if you really need a HEPA filter, look at something like a shark, which is gonna have every one of those has a HEPA filter. Hope you found this video helpful.